Hey guys, it is me, Miss Rodriguez, and I am sorry I am not in STEM today. So, because I'm not there, we're going to go ahead and do our lesson via video. I'll give you instructions, and I hope that while I'm gone, you're being awesome for the sub, and I will see you very shortly. All right, let's get started, guys. So as you can see from the screen, we are going to be working on a new unit in STEM, which is called pre-construction. Just a reminder about my STEM expectations for you guys. Stay on task, try your best, expect to make mistakes and try again, and make smart choices. One thing I am going to expect for you to do is to watch the entire video. You're not going to understand what to do and how things are working on your activity if you are not watching the entire thing. Okay, so make sure you are doing that and make sure you are making smart choices for your substitute. Okay, so today in pre-construction, we're gonna talk about the job of an architect, which is a career in STEM. So you've probably heard of an architect before, but in case you haven't, the architect is a person who plans and designs homes or different kinds of buildings. They are not the person who actually builds them, they're the person that plans them. And one of the things that makes the architect's job so important is that they take those plans and they give them to somebody else. And the, per the construction workers follow the plans exactly. So the architect's plans need to be detailed and they're trying to make, of course, the home or the building be something that works correctly, very effectively, and is also making it look nice, making it attractive. So the biggest tool for the architect is a blueprint. So blueprints are plans that the architect is going to write, which is going to include drawing and writing. The plans have to be detailed and they have to be clear. So the construction workers know exactly what to do when they get to the building site. The blue, um, that means if they're going to sit there and say, okay, we want this bedroom right here, they have to tell them exactly where to put the bedroom and the exact size of it down to like the measurements so it's very clear blueprints need to be drawn to scale and we're going to talk about what that means when i say drawn to scale so i'm going to show you one of my absolutely fabulous drawings and here you can see a picture of a girl by her house outside now this is not drawn to scale. And what I mean by that is you can see in the center of the picture is the house. And then you see the girl and the flower. And it's very clear that things are not drawn correctly. And what I mean is the girl is way taller than the house. The flower is way taller than everything. And that doesn't make sense. If you're drawing something to scale, it's going to make sense for the picture. So Right now, to fix that, drawing it to scale, you can see I made the house much bigger because of course, in real life, the house is gonna be way bigger than the girl or the flower. I also try to make the flower smaller than the girl because in most cases, that is what is going to happen. So drawing it to scale is a lot of times just drawing it in the correct proportions, the correct sizes. Simple, right? Now, this is the blueprint that you guys are going to be using today. We're going to be referencing it in this lesson, and you are going to have a Schoology activity about that. So one thing you're going to see in this blueprint is this is a blueprint of a bedroom with a connecting bathroom. And you're also going to see here at the bottom, just kind of like a map, is the key. All of these are the pictures and they tell you what those pictures mean. So we have what a door is labeled as, and then you also have a window, ceiling fan, the electrical receptacles, and the electrical switch. So the electrical receptacles are gonna be like where you put the plugs in the wall, okay? And of course the electrical switch where you turn the lights off and on, okay? The other important thing is right here at the top where it tells you the scale to floor plan. Because remember, they are drawing a plan on a sheet of paper, okay? And while they are doing this, they can't draw it as big as the actual room is going to be. So they have to draw it to scale, and they want everything to be the appropriate size in comparison. For instance, it makes sense that if you're drawing this to scale, that the bathroom is going to be smaller than the bedroom, okay? It also makes sense that this bed 
is going to be bigger than where you have the TV, okay? So looking at that, you're also going to see on there, and this is my copy of it, and you will also have a copy of it here. It is going to show you and tell you how to measure things on the blueprint. So it says on here, scale floor plan, one fourth of an inch equals one foot. Okay. So on, if you're using a um, ruler and we're going to use a special ruler today, if it's one fourth of an inch, it actually represents one foot in real life. Okay. This is what a scale ruler looks like. It has lots of different sides and lots of different measurements on it. Now today we are gonna be using the side of the ruler that measures in fourths. And to help you know exactly where I want you to start, I have put in, it's hard to see a little bit there, but this red line, I drew that on there. That is your starting point. This is the side that we are using today to measure. Okay, now I'm actually gonna make the screen a little bigger because I wanna really look at that ruler uh, one more time. Okay, so one thing I want you to notice there, it does say one fourth. That's where you're starting, okay? Now, there's lots of numbers on here, okay? We're looking at the short lines on here. We're not looking at the longer lines. So we're gonna be looking at where it says zero and then two and then four and then six. You don't wanna look at the um, longer lines here, like 22, 21, 20, because that is a different side of the ruler. Now, it says here zero, and then it skips to two. So that means this line in between is going to be the one. So it's going zero, one, two, three, four, and so on. So if I measure something and I start it right here on this red line, and I go to here, then I know it's two. If it goes to here, I know it's three, okay? Okay, let's get back to looking at a blueprint together. So this is a blue, the part of the blueprint that you guys will be looking at today, and we are looking at the sink. You can see it's a sink because it looks like, it's this bathroom here, I know it's sideways, and you see the sinks here. We start at the red line, and you can see it goes all the way here, and it says 20, but remember, we're looking at the small line. So it's going zero, two, four, and because it doesn't got to six, it's gonna be five. So the sink is not going to be um, that small, but it is in real life gonna be five feet. Looking at, now, this looks like where you put the entertainment center and you put your uh, TV right here. So starting at the zero, and it goes zero, a little hard to see, I know it's a little blurry, zero, two, four, and six. So the entertainment center is six feet wide. Okay. Now, for your activity today, today you are going to use the floor plan to answer some questions in Schoology. So you will be in a moment, but not yet, um, making sure you get a floor plan from the substitute and you're gonna get a scale ruler. So you will need both of these to answer the questions. When you get into Schoology, we're gonna click on a pre-construction folder and we're gonna click on the assignment. So let's take a look at that. So your folder is gonna look like this, of course. You're gonna go to the STEM uh, classroom and you've got all these folders, and since we're doing pre-construction, you're gonna click on pre-construction. Now, in here, you're also going to see a video, which is the video you're watching right now. But right now, it's not in there because I'm recording it. So this is the actual assignment you're gonna be working on. This one, this is pre-construction drawn to scale. So you're gonna click on that, and I'm going to look at it as a student, which looks like this. You'll push start attempt, and you've just gotta give it a moment, and you'll start get answering some questions. You can see there are 10 questions here, and it'll start asking you some questions like this. The scale floor plan is a blueprint of a kitchen, true or false? You'll answer that question, click next. How many electrical receptacles are in the bedroom? 
how many electrical receptacles are in the entire plan, how many electric switches are in the entire plan, how many electric switches are in the bathroom. The bathroom counter is how many feet? You'll come here and pick the correct answer. How wide is one window? All the windows are the same size. I'm going to build a closet on the wall by the bathroom. What is the widest the closet can be? So you'll go and find that area and you'll measure and see how wide it can go. Here you have a um, the floor plan and you're going to click on the answer. So where is the bed? You'll click on it. Where is the door to the bathroom? Click on the correct answer. Um, where would the TV go? Where is the ceiling fan in the bedroom? And that is actually 12 questions. I was wrong, not 10, but 12. Okay, so that is your assignment for today. Um, you'll be working on that by yourself. And then once you are done, the substitute will give you some ideas for what you can do if you finish early. So I hope you enjoyed today's pre-construction lesson. Again, I will see you guys soon. I hope you have a great day. Be awesome to our sub. Bye guys.